like and subscribe that's all i ask for like and subscribe get my subscribers up to a hundred thousand i appreciate it let's get on to the news it been a shooting in cleveland okay nine injured in shooting in cleveland police searching for suspects okay Cleveland ain't no better than the rest of these cities. Cleveland do crimes too. Those that do crimes, if you do the crime, pay for the punishment. Because the punishment will be coming to your door sooner or later. You will get caught. One thing I can say about Cleveland, when you do a crime in Cleveland, you will get caught. It's not like the rest of these cities, unsolved mysteries. Very often that Cleveland crimes go unsolved. They will get caught. That's one thing I could say about Cleveland. But anyway, there was a shooting in Cleveland. And take a look at this news. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we want to acknowledge all the victims of last night's uh, mass shooting that happened here uh, in the Warehouse District. Uh, thank the Lord uh, no one uh, died from last night's uh, mass shooting. Uh, but it was a tragic and sad day, uh, nonetheless. It truly shows the massive gun problem we have, not just in Cleveland, not just in Ohio, uh, but across uh, this nation. Uh, secondly, uh, it's so important that we honor the hard work and the amazing response time by our police department and EMS as well, too. Now, every weekend, we have a large police presence right here in the Warehouse District, and our first responders did a fantastic job to provide aid to all the victims last night as well. Thirdly, I want to also highlight the importance of this fact. Last summer, the Republican-led legislature in Columbus passed Senate Bill 215. Last summer, the Republican-led legislature in Columbus passed Senate Bill 215. And across the state, from Cleveland to Columbus to Cincinnati, we see an uptick in shootings across our state. Morning, right here in this location, we have an individual who actually started shooting at a crowd of people. That's what we have right now. It's important to note and understand we have officers assigned here. It's called the warehouse detail. We have officers assigned here at that particular time as patrons were coming out of different nightclubs. We had two officers actually and their cars, their marked cars, right at the corner there of uh, West St. Clair and West 6. Uh, marked cars, officers in uniform, their light bars, the lights are gone. We also had an additional officer just a little bit further north uh, parked, I believe, uh, just getting out the car, and, and also a sergeant that was also driving northbound from West St. Clair towards West Lakeside when this occurred. This is a safe, welcoming neighborhood. So there's no excuse for what happened last night. It's a horrible incident. No one is downplaying that. But at the end of the day, we have a wonderful, resilient neighborhood here in downtown Cleveland. Almost 20,000 residents here. They buy. They they come together. I'll point you to after um, you know the, the riots in 2020, where. As I say, it just don't happen in Cleveland. It happens everywhere. With this being said, America people have to start doing something in their neighborhoods. With that being said, subscribe and like, and I will get back with y'all with another episode. With that being said, God bless everyone. I hope everyone be safe out here in this world. With that being said, God bless you. Love you. Keep watching my videos. Speaking nothing but the truth. You see, I bring nothing but hot stuff. Bye-bye. See you later. I'm gone.